Did you? for this beautiful day. Thank you for this community, and we ask your protective hand to be over it. We ask that you would watch over these men and women who serve the village in this capacity. Give them wisdom tonight as they make good decisions. Give them compassion for the people of this community and hearts that can serve you first, Lord, and one another in, this, in, in, in Mifflin. Bless them, Lord, in the, in the name of Jesus we pray. Yes. Dawn? Yes. Dan? Yes. Can we get a motion? 
motion to adopt the minutes for the meeting of August 9th, 2018. I'll make a motion. I'll second. <coughs>
authorized and necessary to tax levy from first time to the county auditor. Okay. And I can pass them around for you to see. You need a motion to suspend the rules. I'll make a motion. Second. Four in favor. Royce? Yes. Pam? Yes. Kathy? Yes. Lori? Yes. Dawn? Yes. Danny? Yes. I need a motion to accept resolution 18-2018, accepting the amounts and rates as determined by the budget commission and authorizing the necessary tax levies and certifying them to the county auditor. Now he's going to pay for the tap and the hook up and everything.
Before I vote, I want to ask, are the Eagle Academy going to be responsible for the line all the way they come inside the building? Well, yeah. I vote yes, then. I've been um, researching grant opportunities to try to, you know, the floor is getting a little wavy, the roof, Robbie's replacing shingles on the roof. Um, so I've been trying to find some grant opportunities for this. Um, so I was in contact with an architect from Mansfield and he came out today and he took a look around. Um, but he said that um, there's the CDBG grant opportunities with the county, and there's different steps that you have to take. You have to get an architect. You have to get um, um, quotes on uh, what would be done, how much it's costing. Mm -hmm. So we did start that, talked to him today. Um, he said that we would need to um, have the place surveyed. Um, Get how much he said that was going to be. To get that done. He said probably a thousand. 
but $500 is just a pain But it line. could be. Yeah. Um, but he said it appears the floor in the meeting room may have some deteriorated joists. It would be necessary to cut a hole or two in the floor for a visual inspection. That can be made to verify the condition and determine the proper course of action for repair. Um, ventilation of the crawl space should be reviewed as it appears to be below standards. Um, talked about um, an ADA ramp. However, if we do make any remodeling or anything, then we're going to have to put a bathroom in because we'll have to be with the, the codes. So he was just out to talk today and um, we, he said we could hire him because we have to work with an architect and that would be a maximum of $1,500 for him. So before we can apply for any grant monies, we have to have the architect work on the project. So just throwing that out there for you guys to think about. Want to do anything about it or not? So, you know, and even if we did something and started this, it doesn't mean we're going to get the grant. So, So anyways, I did talk to Nikki Hiller from the County Commissioner's Office. She's the one that's in charge of the CDBG grant funds. Um, she said the application would be sent out in January and it would have to be back to her by I think she said April. So, something to think about. He didn't think that the, he didn't think what we needed to do would be too costly. But I don't know what his too costly is or our too costly is. He did not. No. Um, he was just out sitting around the building. And he did this for free for us. Okay. So, I mean, yeah. usually they charge for it. And he, he came out and gave us this, sent this, he was out this morning and sent all of this to us okay. so that we would have it for the meeting tonight. So. Oh, great. <coughs> we also need to keep the gutters. <coughs> I mean, we are, we, we do that there. There's a <coughs> in the gutter. Yeah. And then the leaves along the side, those should be removed too. Where do you want me to take them to? Send them by the dock. No worries. Well, if I felt nice to the township, they let, they might let me dump them back there. They might. They might. If I felt nice to. Them. <laughs> okay. We uh, had the alley. I sent out a letter for the alley closure. We, I didn't get all of them out to have a, any, but the ones that I did send out, I, I need to just put <coughs> The ones that I did send out, most of them went to the right time. We still have some that we need to get out, though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And everybody is, I mean, so then we'll if have they don't to, want to if we have someone that doesn't want to sign it, then we're going to have to schedule a hearing. But I did want to let you know that. Right. Yeah, you didn't get one. You have one to sign, so. Okay, and then. Um, Jonesville and Hayesville is having trick or treat on October 25th from 6 to 7. So, can we get a motion to do it the same day? Right. 25th. 25th. 6 to 6. 25th. Go ahead and make a motion. Yeah. Second? Second. Is that Pam? Yes. 6 to 7? Yep. Joyce? Yes. Pam? Yes. Kathy? Yes. 
Lori? Yes. Don? Yes. Dan? Yes. Thank you.